Time skip after one month. It's been one month since the incident happened. He asked me, can I try to love him? In response, I said, I can. If he able to make me fall for him. He immediately hugged me while showering thank you. He said, it's enough for him at last. I will try to love him. I never saw him that much happy. I never imagined my one sentence can make someone that much happy. Last one month, he is trying his best to make sure I am comfortable with him. He allowed me to talk with Ann and Emily, but he strictly said, don't say them where I am, just cause of my safety. Whenever I ask him from whom you are protecting me, he always stays silent or say, you will be now soon. Just wait for the right time. As he said, I always obey him. After all, he is doing everything just save me from that unknown danger. Right now, I am fixing his tie because he have an important meeting. Last this day, he did not even went to his office. But today, he have very important meeting. So now, he have to go. I am fixing his tie but I can feel he is staring at me. I look up and I was right. He is staring at me while talking on his phone. I quickly look down and continue my work. Ag, why is so dull? I have to tip down for fixing his tie. Then I noticed he is looking more taller than before. Did he just? So I again tip down and look at Jungkook who is busy on phone. I shared off and continue my work. After some time, it again happened. This time, I grabbed his tie and pulled him down. Whoa, whoa, calm down, princess. Anger is not good for your health. Are you trying to make fun of my height? Well, I don't want to say, but it's true. You are short. Even you can't reach my shoulder. You are like a little baby. If I am a little baby for you, then find a lady for you. I turn back about to leave when I feel him back hug me. I go. I was just teasing you. You look cute when you get angry. Now please fix my guy. He said and turned me to look at him. I again started to fix his guy. This time he wrapped his both arms around my waist and support me. Then I noticed his frown. What happened? Why your face looks so bad? Are you sick? He placed his hand on my forehead for checking my temperature. Are you okay? Yes, I am just cause of the snowfall maybe. It's okay. If you want, I can cancel the meeting cause nothing is more important than you, princess. When he said nothing is important than me, my heart skipped a beat. I can feel my heart beating so fast. I snapped out when I feel him cupping my cheeks. Tell me princess, are you not feeling well? Ah, I'm fine just cause of snowfall I catch cold. Why you did not tell me? Aish, it's natural in this time. Now go. You are going to be late. Sit pushing toward the door. Are you sure why? Yes, I am. Now go. He looked at me for a second and left. I left the deep sink, but he again came to the room. What happened? I forgot something. He came to me and pecked my cheek. I forgot to take my good luck charm. He said and ran from there, leaving me dumbfounded. This guy shook my head. Feeling bitter taste in my mouth. As I remember, I didn't eat anything bitter in breakfast. Yuck. At that, someone knocked the door. Come in. Ma'am, can I talk a day of the day? Any problem? What? Actually, my son has a high fever, so I have to go. Sure, you can go. Okay, I will tell him about that. You can go now. Thank you, ma'am. She bowed and left. 
What the heck? Why are you feeling so cold? A shiver run through your body. You look outside. Snow falls. Aish. Why the room suddenly feels so cold? Heater is on. I should sleep sometime. You sit and went to bed, cover yourself with a heavy blanket, but still you are feeling so cold. After some time, you fall asleep. Time skip night, 10 p.m. Finally, I came back. My meeting finished long time ago, but for the snowfall, the whole road got jammed. After struggle, I back. But why the heck whole living room so dark? Also, why is not here? Maybe in bedroom? Shirt off and went to our bedroom. I came to our bedroom. They are also dark. Where is why? I thought and on the lights. Only found her sleeping each flip. So I took my clothes and went to washroom to fresh up. After 10 minutes, I came back. I again look at her. I don't know why I'm feeling something is not good. Morning, I saw her face look so pale, and the whole day I did not able to call her. I went to her and called her. She slowly opened her eyes but not really. You back? She said, give me a weak smile. What happened to you? Place my one hand on her cheek, but my eyes widened when I feel her cheeks burning. I quickly placed my hand on her forehead to check her temperature. You have a high fever. Why did not call me? And the maid? I told her to take care of you. Where is she? She allowed to go when you hold his hand. She took a day off. Her son have a high fever. To close his eyes and trying to calm him down. What should I do now? We can't go to hospital nor any doctor so here. Because of the snow, the whole road is blocked. Don't worry, fever will go soon. Don't talk, okay? I asked you morning, you did not say anything. Ah, now to show you. He took out his phone and called the doctor. He was getting some network problems, so he went out from the bedroom. After a couple of minutes, he came back and went to you before removing the blanket from your body. What are you doing? I'm feeling so cold. Dr. Choi said, wash your head with cold water. It will reduce your fever. He lifted you on his arm and went inside the washroom. After a few minutes, he again came back to the bedroom where you were on his arm and put you on bed. Your clothes that weight. She looked at you, who already staring at him with half open eyes. Your clothes. How will change it? You can't even say properly. He said while flustered, not knowing what to do. The maid also not here. God, what should I do now? I'm feeling so cold. And for these weight clothes, it's getting devil. I'm trying to open my eyes, but it feels so heavy. I'm struggling to open my eyes, but flinch when I feel his hand on my shoulder. I will help you to change your clothes. Don't worry, I don't look at you. I look at him and saw he is blindfolding himself. What are you doing? What? Do you want me to see you? Hmm? He says smirking, making me blush hard. Shut up. But why you bring sleepless dog? She will be no soon. Now change your clothes or your fever will again rise up. He sat next to me. I waved my hand in front of him to make sure he is not looking at me. No, he is not. I started to open my shirt button but I am feeling so dizzy. What happened? I am feeling dizzy. I opened the buttons but can't able to remove the shirt. Oh, okay. 
He hold my hand and slowly started to going up while dressing my arm. Stop on my shoulder. He slowly removed my white shirt before throwing it on the floor and asked, Did you wear something else which is red? Yes, the high neck. Okay, up your hands. You did what he said. He removed it, leaving you only. Then made you wear the top. Done. He opened a blindfold and looked at you, found that tomato wine. Someone is pushing. You did not look at him, knowing he is facing you. He got up and again went to washroom and come with a full bowl of water and towel. What is this? He did not say anything. Dipped the towel in water and squeezed it and started to wash my hand. I started when cold water contact with my warm body. After wiping my hands, he went to my leg before rolling up my pants as I am wearing long loose pants. He was doing his work when I am staring at him. He is carrying a perfect husband material. Suddenly his fingers brushed on my bare legs which built an unknown sensation inside my body. I closed my eyes to climb myself. Little did you know someone's mixed at satisfaction after saw you his effect on you. It's just starting, princess. I can see you started to fall for me. I can wait for the day when you gave yourself to me. I promise, once you love me, you will never regret in your life at last. Not like my mom. Then you take some rest, I will bring soup for you. You slowly nodded and he left. Time skip night to AM. You were sleeping after taking medicine, but there Jungkook is wide awake. In every minute, he was checking your temperature, but nothing is working. Your body is still burning. Please God, once I lost my mom, she is the first woman in my life whom I love. Now, Lion is the one person I love with my whole heart. After mom, she is the one I let her stay inside my heart. I will die if something happened to her. I really don't want to lose her. He was repeating his words until he noticed you started to shivering. What happened, princess? He started to rub your hands and legs to feel you warm but nothing is working. I think now I have to do this. I'm sorry, Ryan. But I have no choice. He said and started to open his shirt, then removed it before getting inside the blanket. He pulled your body closer to his, making a snuggle on his bare chest. He started to rub your back to feel you warm. After struggling, finally you stopped shivering, which made him let out a deep sink. I'm sorry. Other choice to feel you warm, so I have to give my body warm. It. He picked your forehead and hugged you tightly before drifted on his dreamland. Without knowing, she was awake and she ate everything. I was sleeping until I felt my body feeling cold. I want to open my eyes, but I can't. Then I heard what he was saying. Smelled my heart. Now I am sleeping on a chest. Even I can hear his heart rate, which is beating so crazily. I think it's the right time to respond to him. Smile and then sleep. Time skip next morning. I woke up by the alarm. I turned it off. I look at myself. What the heck I slept shirtless? Then I remember. Wait. When? Where? I left the this thing when I saw him standing in front of the glass window taking some bath. I wear my shirt and went to her. She was closing her eyes, feeling the warm. I personally hurt her. 
but I'm surprised when she placed her hand above mine before resting her back on my chair. She never did this before. It's not that beautiful. The snow is shining like a diamond because of the sun. Mm, beautiful. He said placing his chin on your shoulder hurt you more tightly. How are you feeling right now? When you took care of me, do you think that you were still alive? He just chuckled and turned me to face him, still hugging me. You know how I got scared when I saw you like this? You can imagine the fear, fear of losing someone. I was like, if something happened to him, I might be dying. He said holding my hand before he kissed it. Next time, please tell me if you are not feeling well. He smiled and tiptoed before giving a smile back on his nose. You can see his eyes widened eyes. Wait, did you just what? You didn't like the fact I'm responding you all love me? You really? Oh my god. You can imagine how much I am happy. You did it. You made me fun for you. By your love, girl. Thank you for your patience. As I know you are an impatient person who always in hurry. He broke the hug and looked at you. Nothing but pure love and adoration. I badly want to hear those words from you. What are you talking? Pretending confused. The same As you said, he smiled go rider. This is the best morning for me, love. Now, this is the time to tell you about everything. To be continued.